Hey guys, it's Fire Mike coming to you from the Man Cave again. I'm going to do a video today on what kind of firefighter are you. Uh, I have a couple ideas. Uh, some guys are just in it just because it's a job. It's not their passion, it's not their calling, it's not what they you know love to do. They like to do it, but it's not what they love to do. Then there's some guys who they like it, you know, they may be volunteers, they started volunteering, so they knew, oh, it's a secure profession, let me go to EMT school, go to paramedic school and get into the business, and then, oh, by the way, I've got good retirement, got good benefits, so I'll just stay in it, and it'll actually be a good job, it'll be a career. So I like it, but it's not really my passion. Then there's just guys that are, you know, they have it. You've seen those guys, they have it. They walk, talk, eat, sleep, breathe the fire service. That's all they do. They're good at it. Heck, you even look at them and you can tell they even look like a firefighter. They have just a persona. They are in shape. They care about their job. They want to do the best possible job they can do at every scene, no matter what time of the day or night. They take every class possible, not because they want to have every certification possible, but because they want to have the best knowledge, the best skill set at their job. Then there are only a few other guys in this last category. These guys I would call the profession changers, the shakers, the movers, the guys with the new fresh ideas. These guys have that it factor and then they kind of seem to have a little bit more of the brains to go along with it or maybe the ingenuity to go along with it to change the profession for the better. We all need to practice changing our profession and the, the view that we have in the public eye. We all need to do better at changing that. But these guys do a better job of changing the fire service's view of the fire service, if that makes sense. Uh, if you are on Twitter, you might follow a guy, uh, Jump Seat Views, or Views from the Jump Seat. I'll put it in, in the link under the video so you can find him. But this guy has got a new message that you really haven't heard about, about hoarding. But he's a shaker and a mover. He's always going, always doing things, and he's humble as you can be. He rides an ambulance. He does things that people, you know, might look down on because, hey, if you've got these new, you know, these new fresh ideas, you need to be a captain or something or a battalion chief, right? You can't just be a firefighter. But that's where the fire service is going. We got these guys like the fire critic or average Jake. You know, the bloggers, these guys are doing different things and trying to better the fire service from within, not just trying to come into the fire service and, oh, it must be just be better now. So let me ask you, what kind of firefighter are you? Me, I would place myself, sometimes I have that it factor and sometimes I don't. It just really depends. So, you know, we all get burnt out every now and then just from having a long, you know, long winter winter season, you know, we've been working a whole bunch of overtime, and by the time the spring comes, you got spring fever, you don't want to be at work, you don't want to do anything that has to do with anything that's work-related. So, you might lose that it factor just a little bit. It doesn't mean you're less professional at your job, it just means that when you're off shift, you don't eat, sleep, breathe, and, you know, drink the fire service. So, you actually have other things on your plate. So, it go, for me, I would say that I have, a, sometimes I have that it factor. I'm trying to get better at it, trying to do better at embodying the fire service. Yeah, I stay fit. I really love my job. I'm really good at my job. I know what I'm doing. But, can I do more at training those guys under me? Can I do more at my volunteer apartment and going up there and doing more training and trying to influence those young guys to do better? Yeah, I can. So, what kind of firefighter are you? I guess it's something you can think about. I got some work to do myself. So, with that, signing off.